Hello there, I am Giant Grodel. In the last part of my, um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Walkthrough Guide, we took on, um, our first rescue mission, I guess you could say, in Tiny Woods, we rescued a Caterpie, um, rescued Caterpie and, and brought, her back, brought him back to his mother, uh, Butterfree, and I woke up as a Squirtle. My name's Steven, and my partner is a Charmander named Cody. And we decided to form Rescue Team, Rescue Team Grodel, the next morning, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm recording this um, video like just splitting it and stuff because like it did the prologue and it hasn't given me the save, fu the save function yet but we'll get to that in a second. I'm still the same. I The way I look, I'm still Squirtle. But would I be transformed into- but why would I be transformed into Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. I feel groggly and sleepy. Not feeling well. Uh, I need more sleep. Okay, and we go back. This is just showing how to save the game. Go back to your bed, and it's like, like do you want to save your adventure? Yes. And it says fairly fast, so it doesn't take too long. So yeah, save complete, yeah. And we got more sleep now, yay. Oof, I feel refreshed. I still look like a Pokemon, but... Oh, that's right. A Pokemon. I think it was Cody? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what to Cody is doing. I should go out. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, he's just sleeping on the job, huh? Huh? Oh no! Uh huh, sorry. I was so excited that I came out here at dawn to wait for you. I must have just snoozed off. Snoozed off. Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. Do our best. Um, but anyway, we don't have any job offers yet, huh? Oh, that's okay. Oh yeah, maybe there's something in the mailbox. Cody checked the mailbox. The team, the, um, mailbox contained a rescue team starter set, nice. I knew it'd be there. It's a rescue team and starter set. That always gives, they always give you one if you start a rescue team. Cody opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside, okay. Just to show that we're official. Um, they are, there was a toolbox inside that holds 20 items. There's also an issue of Pokemon news inside, which is just news. Yes, there are some good things in here. First off, the rescue team badge. It shows that we are a rescue team. This is a toolbox. You will use it to carry items you find in dungeons. Let's go, let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them in our adventures. And finally, we have a copy of the Pokemon News. It's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not? Cody checked the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we, we would just get mail, but... Nobody knows about us since we just since we're a new team, I guess. Haha. Ha. Okay, flap flap. The Pelper will do that every now and then, like every morning. I'll come to our mailbox and you know just just put mail in our box. Oh, I wonder what that could be. What it could be. Yeah. I wonder what it could be. I'm gonna check the mailbox. So let's do that. I Stephen check the mailbox. Maybe it's a rescue team offer, a rescue job offer. My bad. Read that wrong. What does it say? Steven read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, you need, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon and stuck together Magnemite and Magnemite. This isn't, th that isn't enough to form a Magneton. It's not complete that way the way it is now please we need your help bzz, 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 from magnemite's friend i don't know what kind of voice that was but yeah what do you think would you think we should go okay let's not if you say let's not go you can't really go without progressing the story it won't let you progress really so let's just let's go i want to go on another rescue team it's gonna be fun rescue mission i not rescue team that's the spirit let's do our best pose nice Okay, so we're going on way to Thunder Wave Cave, which we'll get to that map. It, we'll also go to the map, and they'll show us where the dungeons are, and we'll go to them. And this is like another cutscene, so yeah. Uh, oh, you're here, bzzz. My friend, 
My friends are in this cavern. Bzz. My friends should be on basement four six. It'd be, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm gonna say that B is basement. Basement. It's a basement sixth floor or something like that. Please help them. Bzz. Nod, nod. Let's go in. Now Thunderwave Cave isn't really that hard, but um, if you're a water type like me, I'm a Squirtle, of course. Yeah, there's electric type Pokemon in here, and just be on your guard. Okay, different foes moves instead of different foes using moves instead of A attacks. The more experienced ones. Oh, defeat foes. Yeah, we yeah, because you get more experience if you paint them with the actual moves instead of just using A tackle. So yeah, we kind of already know that. I just explain it. Okay, apples are really helpful. Um, they help restore your belly if, or fill your belly so you don't faint in the middle of a dungeon. Because I'll show it right here if I can pull up the menu. Um, on the bottom rectangle it says belly 100 slash 100. That means I have a full belly. I'm all good. But if it gets down to like five or something even lower than that, it'll be like in the red zone. And like you want to make sure you eat an apple or a big apple. Which is also another item, which is the big apple is the big apple version of this, the apple, so that's good. But um, you can faint and you can just like totally run out of energy in the middle of dungeons, and then I think it'll count as you fainting. So keep that in mind. You want to keep your belly status up, I guess you could say. Okay, we got a petra berry. We're in the toolbox, we got another apple. Nice. And they said that Magnemite was on basement floor number six, so we'll try to get there. Yeah, this is a Poochie I'm gonna just take it with tackle. There we go. Okay, if you're gonna try to run away, like whenever they do that green smoky thing, that's them trying to run away because they're almost dead or fainted, I should say. So they're trying to just avoid being defeated, I guess. Okay, and I agree to level 8, nice. And again, the, the stats go up, the HP goes up by 3, attack goes up by 2, defense goes up by 1, special attack goes up by 2, special defense goes up by 1, nice. Okay. Okay, these switches right here, if you step on them, they'll restore your stats. Like if you accidentally if you get growled on and lower your like your attack, for example, or tail up will lower your defense. If you step on one of those, and you wanna make sure you both step on them because um you'll both get restored stats to to normal to the normal level, so that's good. And that's also really important to keep track of, so that's good. Now pick Cody good level seven and learn Ember. Yes, nice, Cody's stats went up. I won't always read like how many stats and what number goes up because, you know, that's kind of silly I guess at times, but I just did it for that one time. Um, okay, so here's something you can do with your teammates moves. If they're all st if these are all starred, which they are, then my teammate Cody, the Trimander, will um, use any three of these moves. But I, I don't want to, I don't want him to use growl right now, so I'm gonna switch it off. And so that means whenever he um, does help me up and back me up, he can only he just scratch or ember. So that's something you want. That's something that's cool, I guess, that you can do. Just doing some strategic um, adjustments and stuff. If I can find the stairs though, that'd be nice. There we go. There we go, nice, okay. So, here's another apple. I'm just gonna take the steps though, next up that.
a good level 9. Awesome. So my stats went up yet again. So that's awesome. I like that. Another apple. We limit, how much space do we have in our um, toolbox next? We have like one space left, basically. Let's go to the basement for six. I think this is then the dungeon too. There we go, yeah. Okay. Oh, there you are. Let's get them out safely. Awesome. They're dancing. Our body is separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay, bzz. <laughs> Yay, bzz. Be thankful, you two. You are a hero. Thank you. Bzz. You got 500 Pokey. You see the Reviver Seed. Now, Reviver Seeds are like revives in this game. Actually, Max revives, I believe. Because they, um, when you accidentally faint in a dungeon, then you get revived as long as you have Reviver Seed in your toolbox. That's cool. And then you can also equip the Reviver Seeds and, like, your partner can throw them at you, I believe. So that's cool. And you can use it there, I guess. But yeah, either way, I think it still works. With the, using a rubber seed. It's got a raspberry which heals poison. So the um, toolbox is full so the items went to storage and we'll get to that in the next part hopefully. Talk about store items and stuff. Yeah. I'm glad our rescue mission went to well today. Actually since there was our first actually since this was our first job as a proper rescue team we I was really tense and nervous. I I'm exhausted now. I got to get I've got to go get some sleep. Let's keep up our good work tomorrow. See you. So Cody will go off and yeah, we can save our adventure. Nice. So this has been the end of my um, second part of my um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team walkthrough part. In the next part, we'll take on, I will show more of the game actually and probably visit Pokemon Square. If not, um, yeah. That's about what we think we're going to do. This has been John Go again. I would like to thank Butch again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team walkthrough guide.